what to do with your crap. First step, capture all the solids and liquids. Let the liquids funnel into here. Once the liquids fill up, the floats get triggered, the pump turns it on, and then pushes it out to your leach field. All right, how do you do a septic tank? Check this out, we've got a septic tank right here. We've got a big concrete box, and then a circular cylinder. This is the inside. All right, so here's how this works. We've got inlet. House is probably gonna go somewhere over here. And then everything that comes out of your sink, your toilet, everything will pop in right there. Boop. And all of it flows in there and just hangs out. Got some anaerobic digestion happening. Then we got some holes in this pipe. Okay, so all the water that starts filling this thing up comes here and then overflows to a tank that's a little bit lower on this side. Now, the gravity, the lower tank, will collect all of the liquids. All the solids will get pumped out of here every three years or so. And this one's a little bit different. So we do have this sweet box. Test it out, flip that switch. It's gonna run us over. And then we've got a pump in here. So a lot of septic systems, I mean, they all have a, uh, some kind of pump. So you can see the utility pump down there. Um, once the water hits a certain height, kind of like a sump pump, you can see our inlet valve. All of the stuff comes in and just drops in there. We've got three floats. Once those floats are triggered, that water now gets pumped, circulated through this pipe. You can see it way down there. And then it shoots out over here. Typically, these are gravity leach fields, but this one does have a pump attached to it. Usually you just need something that's a little bit lower in slope and everything just circulates down and out from there. There is an additional pump here basically takes and shoots this thing in every different direction. Long story short, what happens is you flush your toilet, take a shower, you grind up potato skins in your sink, and then all of that comes into here. It just sits here and hangs out and does nothing until the tank fills up with enough liquid. Once the liquid fills up, the liquid filters out and through this gravity into the earth and the solids end up on the bottom and after three years of that things that don't get digested end up getting sucked out with one of those great big sucking trucks kind of like a porta potty only the porta potty you know it's all contained so the liquid doesn't come out pretty cool you got your overflow down to the bottom all the liquid drops in there pump pushes the liquids up and out and over through here you got floats just like your toilet that tell you when the water is high enough that the pump turns on You've got your electric that comes through. The electric is what turns that pump on to start circulating all of the crap in there. And then all of the liquid now comes over here to this sweet leach field. And again, this is a little bit more intense because we actually are pumping it because it's not totally gravity fed. So each of these pipes come in here, disperses all of that across here. Now, one thing I'm not totally sure of is usually there's valves that you turn on and off which part of the leach field is getting them. So what you would do is say for the first six months or year, you turn on the valve to this thing and then the water is flowing here that gets saturated and then you turn the valve off and then you turn on this one. So you'd have these different zones where these two are active like from this pipe for a time and this would be off and then this would be on. So my guess is we're going every other so this is on this is off that one's on that one's off and then every year you flip the switch you turn the valves and that one's on that one's off that one's on and that one's off and so the dirt that you can see especially in colorado it's a little bit crumbly not super absorbent but that way any of the liquids that start building up here they build up here this turns into a swing pool of you know things from the toilet and the sink and the shower and then you let this drain out a little bit into the ground it gets filtered out into the dirt and sand and typically i'm a little confused this is the valve that would turn on and off. It's just on the other side, so I'm not totally sure. This one's more complex than I'm used to. Leach field, septic system. 
all the liquids come through here. They leach into the ground, kind of like a strainer after it's gone through its anaerobic digestion. I'll see if I can do a video on anaerobic digestion and air gas. Basically, you can use the gas from all of your crap or your animal crap, methane, all those things that cows fart out, greenhouse gases and all that. You can basically capture it and then use it just like propane, methane, propane, it's all gas, um, and use it to cook with. Turn on the stove, whatever you want to. Uh, high hopes. That, my friends, is what to do with your crap.